Yo, it's me, Dead Carpet, and this is Dead Carpet Energy Drink Reviews, and it's 3.50 p.m., and it's um, Monday, May 2nd, 2022. I was going to make my review at lunch today, but I didn't bring my jacket. It was, like, pouring down today. It was, like, raining really hard. It was, like, storming and stuff. Um, so I had to wait till after work to make this review. But um, anyway, today I'm going to be reviewing an interesting energy drink. I got it at that soda place called Pops in Arcadia, Oklahoma. It's, like, a sort of, like, a tourist attraction place. They have, like, a lot of different drinks and stuff. They had this there, um, this is by their energy drinks and stuff, but, um, yeah, this is called Kinetic Energy, I guess it was out before and it was discontinued in, like, um, the Middle East, like, by Dubai and stuff, but now it's made in, like, the UK, but, um, a company in, like, Tennessee imported it to the USA, see what I mean? Um, but, um, anyway, today I'm gonna be reviewing the Kinetic Energy Energy Drink. So, oh yeah, boys, look at that bottle. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It looks like a beer bottle, or like a root beer bottle, see what I mean? Yeah, the top, on the lid it has a K with a E for the kinetic energy. It says twist off, it has like a arrows pointing around it. It has the K and the E for the logo, and it has like lightning bolts around it or something. Looks pretty cool. It has like lightning going through the logo too, where it says kinetic energy. Nine fluid ounces, 275 milliliters. Well, it's 9.3 fluid ounces. So, a little bit of a weird amount of liquid, I guess. But it has a label, too. It has SKU. Okay, then it says, Kinetic Energy. A potent drink charged with energy to give a mental and physical lift. Best served chilled ingredients, carbonated filtered water, sucrose, citric acid, caramel color, guarana extract, lemon juice from concentrate, malic acid, benzoic acid preservative, two. And now this word... Some people might find offensive. Um, I don't know if it's because of the people who made this drink or not, because they're the UK or, and stuff, but um, the more politically correct term, I guess, would be like um, mental disability or something. But um, yeah, it says benzoic acid preservative to retard spoilage. So I guess it's most like in like American drinks, it says to like um, preserve freshness. I guess that's, that's what that's supposed to mean. See what I mean? Um, anyway, flavorings, caffeine, tea extract. Best before end, see shoulder manufactured in the UK by Prospect Beverages Limited, Prince's, Risboro Bucks, HP 279 AU England, ported by Harmon Imports LLC, Memphis, Tennessee, 38134, email at harmonimports at AOL.com. Nutrition facts, serving says 9.3 fluid ounces, 275 milliliters, serving from retainer 1. Amount per serving calories, 103, total fat, 0 grams, 0 percent, sodium 7 milligrams. 0% total carbohydrates, 25 grams. Um, 8.5% sugar is 25 grams. Protein, 0 grams. And it has some recycling stuff. On the bottom, you can see it. The color. Well, it's hard to see. Yeah, the color in this bottle because it's like a black bottle. See what I mean? Um, but um, anyway, I'll let you see it right quick. I'll show it off up close in a minute, though. See, it says to twist off. It has the arrows all the way around it. And the KE. Kinetic energy. Looks pretty cool. I like the look of it, you know? Just saying. Okay. Nutrition facts. I'm parked somewhere else where I normally make my videos. I'm parked at the Walgreens in Oatmalgi. Um, because I had to go get my mom's, um, diabetes medicine at the tax place. Um, she went to do our taxes because we were actually supposed to do them a few weeks ago, but we never did. Um, but I guess she forgot her diabetes medicine. She actually, yes, she accidentally left it in the sack that her, um, tax papers were in. So, yeah, I had to go get her diabetes medicine, so I got that. And now I'm over here, you know, making my review. Um, but, yeah... Okay, that's pretty much the entire bottle. So I'm gonna shake it up, open it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. Actually, I'm gonna show it off up close for a minute. So hold on. Okay, I showed off the drink up close. I'm gonna shake it up a little bit, open it, taste it, and give my review for it. So hold on a minute. I have, and spoiler warning, I already had one of these yesterday because I bought two bottles, and I couldn't get the one open yesterday. Um, but I got my work glove today, so I'm gonna try to do it with it because it has like a grip, a grippier texture anyway. And, well, I thought it would work. I don't have, like, a bottle opener with me, so. It's 
might be a bit of a challenge. Wait a minute. I thought I had, like, uh, yeah, I have like a pocket knife in my door. I think it has like a bottle opener on it. Uh, wait a minute. Well, it's, an, it's all dirty and stuff, but um, it has like a cork bottle opener, but not a can or a bottle, you know, bottle opener. So, wait a minute, I'm going to try to find something to open it right quick. I might actually have to wait and finish my review when I get home. Um, because I have a bottle opener at home. And, um, yeah, I don't think I'm going to be able to open this, so hold on a minute. Okay, I'm back home now. It's 4.23 p.m. now. And, um, see, um, I opened the bottle yesterday. And I, um, I didn't have, like, one of those rubber openers. It's like a metal opener. So, I, like, messed up the lid, you know? Um. But, yeah, I forgot to bring this, like, bottle opener with me when I went to work. So, I have to bring this with me in the next few days, um, to do my, um, other soda review. So, I'll have to bring this, so hopefully I don't forget. I might actually go to Walmart and try to get a different bottle opener in a minute, though. Um, but yeah, anyway, so now I'm going to open this right quick and then taste it and get my review for it. So hold on a minute. Okay, I'm not really for sure I'm going to do this. i going to do this on my leg, hopefully. <gasps> well, it just came off. Okay, I got sticky and messy, but luckily I had a wet wipe from work. But, um, anyway, yeah, I accidentally opened that one with a lot of force. I made, like, a big, like, hole in the lid. So, got dented a little bit, but see what I mean? But, um, anyway, the smell. Oh, yeah, boys. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Well, well, well. Definitely has a citrusy scent, but also berry. Online, I've seen someone said this like a peach flavored energy drink, but um, doesn't really smell too much like peach to me though. It does have the lemon juice concentrate in it, so it does have like a lemony citrusy smell, but um, might have a little bit of a peach smell though. Definitely some sort of berry though. Um, I don't know though. Still smells pretty good though. Um, I don't know if you can see inside the bulb, it's like a, it looks like a reddish color, but I got it like a white cup. I'm going to pour into the, though, and I'll show you the color. Well, when I'm pouring it out, I don't know if you can see this. It looks a little bit like a golden yellow. Um, but I just got it on my shirt again. You know, when I was pouring out, it was like a light golden yellow, but in the cup, it looks more like a darker brownish red color. So, that's weird. Looks like something you don't want to be drinking, you know, just saying. Dehydrated, you know, just saying, but um, anyway. Um, the smell. Yeah, in the cup, it definitely has a little bit more of a, um... Has like a fresher scent. It still smells sweet though, but um, it smells a little bit more like apple juice though when I'm smelling it in the cup though. Yeah, definitely like um one of those Welch's like apple juices, but um, I think it, they had like this one other one that was like apple juice, but it was also like um pear juice and stuff. Um, I think it was like that one, like the like mixed fruit type of one. But yeah, in the glass bottle though, um, definitely smells different though. Definitely more of a um, concentrated, a little bit more of a bitter citrusy smell. 
Definitely smells sweeter in the cup though, sort of in, but I'm anyway. And I'm gonna try it, so here goes. Oh yeah, boys. Oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. And yep. Tastes like how it smells. Definitely has a little bit of a lemony taste, but um. Hmm, might have a little bit of like some other sort of citrusy taste. Not really peach though. Maybe like tangerine, maybe. Might also have a little bit of a, um, that apple pear sort of taste, but, um, oh no, the smells, definitely smells like berry, though, but, um, can't really taste any berry, though, so not really for sure about that, but yeah, mostly tasting like a tangerine, maybe mixed with, like, a, um, lemon and apple sort of taste, that's what I'm getting anyway, still tastes pretty good, though, definitely a good citrusy, fruity flavor really smooth it's not really carbonated but yeah the flavor hmm, definitely sweet but also a little bit tart but definitely flavorful though see what I mean but yeah I think it's mostly a um almond hmm. definitely tastes a lemon maybe about like 30 percent uh, maybe I'm tasting that sort of like citrusy flavor though, besides the lemon, maybe about 60%. Then maybe it has a little bit of like a um, apple or a pear taste, maybe like 10%. But I don't know, it does have a little bit like a hint of like a berry. I'm not really for sure which type of berry, maybe a strawberry a teeny bit. I think it does have a little bit of a strawberry taste. But yeah, still a really good fruity sort of flavor, see what I mean? Has a cool ball design, you know? Um, it's okay priced. It was like around $2 at that Pops like gas station place. Um, I don't know if you'd be able to find this anywhere or not, because this one's like a really rare drink, I guess. Because yeah, it's imported from the UK, but um, by a company in Tennessee, so you might be able to find it a little bit easier in Tennessee, I'm not for sure though. Um, but yeah, um, this is discontinued in like um, around 2003 in the Middle East or so. Um, so I guess some other people may have tried this before though. But I don't know if that was like the same flavor. Because I don't know if they redid the flavor and they re-released it in the UK or not. Not really for sure. Um, but yeah, if you're in the UK you can probably get this too. See what I mean? But um, energy wise, uh, it doesn't say the caffeine on the bottle and doesn't say the caffeine anywhere online. Um, but I drank one of these yesterday, you know, just to make sure, like, how it worked for me. I drank it around 3.30 p.m. I didn't start getting too tired till, like, around 8 p.m. So maybe about four hours of energy at the most. So I'd say probably about, yeah, two and a half hours to about four hours of energy. So, oh, yeah, boys, it will get you lit. It will get you lit, you know, just saying. So, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, oh, yeah. Definitely tastes good. Um, I'll try it out of the cup right quick. Dang it. Just got it all over me again. Got it all over me. Um, in the cup. It smells different and it tastes different too. I don't know if the glass bottle makes it have like a different sort of taste or not, but um. Yeah, in the cup it's definitely more of a more of a mellow flavor, definitely not as like concentrated, you know, still has a citrusy taste, but um, yeah, definitely more like a Welch's like um, sort of juice, you know, and when you're drinking out of the cup, <coughs> definitely more of a mellow, I don't know, more of a juicier sort of taste. I don't know, it's hard to describe, but, um, yeah, it's a really cool, unique energy drink. Very cool design, you know, it's, like, cool, it's, like, it's in a glass bottle that reminds me of, like, a beer bottle and stuff. And we do, like, these types of bottles at work and stuff, so you know what I mean, but, um, 
and he has okay price. As a cool design, it tastes good. Energy-wise, it works pretty good, too. So, yeah, definitely try to find this. It's actually pretty lit. Um, it's not one of my favorite energy drinks, but, yeah, it's still actually really good, though. I just wish I could find it at more places, you know, just saying, but um, anyway. I would give the Kinetic Energy Energy Drink. Um, I was thinking about giving an 8 out of 10, but, um... I actually do like this. It's actually, I like it better than I thought it would. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. It's a cool ball design. It tastes good. Energy wise, it works good. It's an okay price. So, yeah, definitely try it if you can find it. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. So, oh yeah, boys, it's lit. So, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah, oh yeah. I'm gonna give it a 9 out of 10. Oh yeah. Anyway, my next energy drink review, I'm probably gonna be reviewing the new watermelon lemonade. Um, sparkling ice plus caffeine energy drinks. So, remember that review. So, if you're not current reviews, some more videos. Thanks for watching. See you guys later. Peace out. And bye.